Maggie Cascad, I'm a conservation volunteers intern with the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Did you know that after habitat loss, invasive species are the second biggest threat to biodiversity? Today, I'm giving conservation volunteers the opportunity to bite back. I'm making three invasive appetizers for this Saturday's conservation volunteers event at the Clifford E. Lee Nature Sanctuary in Spruce Grove. First, I'm making dandelion and ginger tea, dandy balls, and dandelion chips. Stay tuned for some delicious recipes. To make dandelion green and ginger tea, you will need a tea strainer, dandelion greens, ginger, lemon peel, and water. Step one, put the dandelion greens and ginger into the tea strainer. Step two, bring the water to a boil. Once the water has boiled, place your tea steeper into the water and leave it to steep for four minutes. While your tea is steeping, twist the lemon over top of the tea and put them in. Now your tea is ready to be enjoyed, either immediately or over ice. To make dandy balls, you will need four cups of bread, four cups of dandelion greens, four eggs, a cup and a half of parmesan, a cookie tray, and an oven heated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Step one, combine the dandelion greens with the bread and mix them together. Step two, combine the eggs and mix all of these together. Once it's been mixed together, roll them into half inch balls. Coat them in Parmesan cheese. Place them on the tray to cook. Once your dandy balls have been placed on the tray, put them in a preheated 425 degree oven for 10 minutes. Remove the dandy balls from the oven and let them cool. To make dandelion chips, you'll need dandelion greens, salt, olive oil, a cookie tray, and the oven heated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The first step is to drizzle dandelion greens in olive oil, approximately one tablespoon of olive oil per bunch of dandelion greens. Next, season with your choice of seasoning or salt. Next, mix all of these dandelion greens together. And then place them on the tray. Spread out in a thin layer. Once they're ready, place them in a preheated oven. After 30 to 40 minutes, remove the dandelion chips from the oven. These tasty weeds are now ready to be enjoyed. Thanks for joining me on my mission to bite back against invasive weeds. If you'd like to become a conservation volunteer, check out www.conservationvolunteers.ca or email us at alberta at conservationvolunteers.ca. Weed 
love to have you.